Hi, I'm William Tenholder. I've been playing for over 50 years and won thousands of games around the world. And uh, my name doesn't come up very often because I do play under, under many different names. I don't play under my name. So um, you may see me out there as Robin Hood, uh, West Coast William. Um, there are a few other names. William Lives. And you might have been beaten by me, you know. Uh, or you may have beat me. You know, that can happen. Sometimes you get distracted. You lose a game. But, yeah, I, I lose very seldom. Most most of my games are winning, winning, winning uh, because of experience. So I'm going to, you know, now turn off the uh, verbiage and get to this really good, uh, quick mate. It's just, you're going to chuckle. You're going to chuckle when you see this. It's... It's a nice quick mate, and uh, there are many ways to do it, but here we go. I've got it all set up. They've got uh, the Fianchetto uh, on the queen's side. Uh, I just open with my knight and see what they do. And uh, brought out my other knight. Well, let's see what they do. Oh, they take the knight. And, you know, that's surprising. Because they're going to lose their bishop. Uh, so that's not really a good use of their resources. It creates a weakness in the black squares for them. So, next. Sure. Why not? I, I don't think that's the, the best. But, you know, here we go. And... Uh, so I bring out my bishop because now I'm planning an attack because uh, they're moving very passively. They're waiting for me to punch. They want to counter punch, but uh, here comes the punch. Get your glass out because punch is being served. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very passive with the pawn um, on the uh, uh, E3 square. Um, they could have gone e4. I would recommend that. Uh, and it looks like their position's pretty open on the queen side. However, here comes the punch. Get out your glass. Punch is served. Check. Uh, sorry, not uh, castle on the king side, and they want to develop their knight for some reason to e2. I think maybe because they wanted to help me, because here we go, I move my pawn up, and it's a solid position for black, white, uh, I, I don't know what they have here, so they fianchetto on the king side to get some action going, well okay, but I don't like this pawn structure, the pawn structure with the, uh, you know, on the king side is very weak. Uh, and anything can happen there. Bishops can slide in. Uh, knights can slide in. Doesn't look very good. So, I see an opportunity. And maybe you see it too. Maybe you're, you know, one of those uh, chess prodigies. You, you see this and you go, oh, oh. This, this looks like a smothered mate. And so, it depends what they do. So they try to kick the knight out and develop. This all looks pretty normal, doesn't it? Checkmate. So, yeah, yeah. If you were one of those prodigies and you saw that coming, I, I tell you, I was just licking my lips. Just hoping that they would make that move and uh, I could come in and close this off. So I really enjoyed this game. It was nice and quick and it gave me a chance to, you know, sit back and relax, have some dinner. Uh, yeah, enjoy your chess. It, it can be a great rewarding experience. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Happy hunting.